sunrise on Tin Can Beach. Tides well up. Well, at this afternoon it should be low tide. Oh, here we go in a second. Ah. Say hello to my Yes, this rock here, a sedimentary group of rocks. You can find these in the Kennedy Cases area. 400 million years old. See the sun shining on this fossil here. There's a bone. That's a tooth hole there. There's that. That is a fossil seashell there. And here's another bone. And here's more bone. Right there. Yeah, I don't know why the museum never never uh, did any work on this, but it's amazing. This little fossil a fossil reptile bone or fossil dinosaur bone, like this is skin. When that gets, when this gets wet, it begins to feel like suede. It's amazing stuff. Yep, yep. But it's an enigma. I don't know if it's before it's time or what. Because this here is Devonian period strata. And what this little guy here is doing, I don't know. What's he doing here? Just a sentinel? On a beautiful bay. Oh, right. This is the back of the head here. There was a little chip. That little chip is elsewhere now. But the front of the head is down this way somewhere. The front of the head goes this way. And that's a pretty big... For a leg joint, that looks like it might have been fairly sizable. Uh, yeah, if if you measure if you measured this out, see one half of this one half of this skull cap is bitten off. It would come down to here. So yeah, there's a lot missing from that from that fossil. There's a lot missing. It is a 400 year old mystery, an archaeological enigma that for me just won't go away. Yeah, it's a puzzle, a, a puzzle in an ancient life. So now, well after working, sorry about the sunlight, after working out in this bay, I uh, finding the Paleo-Indian points or Upper Neolithic period at lateral heads and spare points and arrowheads, and there are other tools, cup stones, fat lamps. I'm just wondering what they're still doing here, but I, of course I understand because 10,000 years ago, like I say, this was all, it was all steps. The, uh, the Atlantic Ocean was 5 meters to 15 meters shallower than it is today. 
the ice cap was sitting maybe six or seven hundred miles away from us or the edge of the great ice cap that covered North America was only six or seven hundred miles away and uh, I think the mean annual temperature then was just a little above freezing or a little under freezing so it wasn't very hospitable and uh, I think if you look at the age of the salmon when the salmon first started spawning it might go back a thousand years and a thousand years ago was pretty much when the uh, well when the Norse were discovering Newfoundland and the and the Aboriginal tribes, the Micmac, the Maliseet, uh, Passamaquoddy, they were all, uh, I'll call them rigidly structured bands with their, with their own special societies and their own religious deities. The, uh, But prior to a thousand years ago, that was, everything was different. Two thousand years ago, I don't think we would be looking at this bay. Possibly, well, hello Cormorant. Yeah, I don't think we would be looking at this bay. I think the St. John River two thousand years ago would have been a lot smaller than it is now and uh, oh, yeah, that boat that Irving boat wouldn't be sliding under the harbor that's for sure okay that's enough of this video get one more good shot of my little friend the archaeological enigma Thank you.